Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important session. So I'm going to share 30 most important questions for Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer Exam. Professional knowledge questions, right? So very important uh, students, uh, you're going to find a lot of questions from this series in your exam. So I'm going to share a lot of questions in the future uh, lectures as well. Similar lectures in the future. Mein bhi. So today I'm going to share 30 questions, 30 important questions. So before starting, let me tell you Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Office. So full course is available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing complete coverage of the syllabus. We are providing video classes, notes, test series, live quizzes. Everything is available on bankexamstudy.com. We have an Android app. We have an iOS app. Uh, you can access the course on your desktop. All the links are available in the description. Description mein jaake aap jo hai join kar sakte hain. All the links are available there. So which of the following municipal corporation is planning to issue India's first municipal green bond? This is directly from, I would say, financial awareness, current affair. Okay. So uh, Indore Municipal Corporation uh, is planning to issue India's first green bond available for the retail investors for the solar power plant of 60 megawatt capacity. According to the recent amendments approved by IRDAI, a single investor taking dash percentage in an insurance company would be classified as a promoter. So that used to be 10%. Anybody who's holding more than 10% of, of an insurance company would be considered as a promoter. Ab ye ke ho 25%. Anybody any individual who is holding more than 25% of an insurance company would be considered as a promoter of that insurance company. Okay. Pele 10%. Tha. So Basel to under the Basel two norms, uh, in addition to the capital adequacy and two broad pillars were introduced. Pele capital adequacy hi hota tha. What are the three pillars of, uh, you know, which of the following are three pillars of Basel two? Capital adequacy, uh, supervisory review and disclosures. These are the three pillars of Basel II norms. Please remember that uh, pillars yaad hone chahiye. Obviously for sure capital adequacy, the banks they need to maintain the capital jo RBI bolta hai, whatever the RBI uh, you know directs the bank. Supervisory review, banks are needed to develop and use better risk management uh, to take care of the risk. And market discipline. Increased disclosure requirements are there for the banks. They need to disclose their CAR, risk exposures, etc. to the central bank. Okay. So these are the three pillars. Recently, uniform format for reporting OTC over the counter trade in non-convertible securities was issued by whom? So who will do it? SEBI does it. SEBI issues... Uh, these guidelines so uniform format for reporting OTC uh, issued by the SEBI Securities Exchange Board of India which of the following bank got approval for uh, from DIPM to dilute the, what do you mean by dilute Matlab, bech dena. dilute its stake in UTI asset management company PNB uh, had uh, their stake in UTI AMC but now PMC is going to sell that okay PMT is going to divest its uh, you know investment in UTI AMC 15% ke takriban unka investment tha now they are going to dilute it what is the PSL lending target for advances to weaker, weaker section uh, for a commercial bank 12% it used to be I guess 10% but badha diya gaya it is 12% for RRBs it is 15% weaker section ko jo loan dete hain right uska kya, kya target hai Small finance banks or domestic commercial banks ka 12% RRBs ka 15% hai, okay? And as per latest priority sector guidelines by RBI. See students, let me explain this topic. So the banks, the commercial banks, for example, HDFC bank, the priority sector lending target HDFC bank has, it can cover the whole target from the state of uh, UP or uh, UP and Punjab, right? But RBI said, uh, no, there should be equality. Every district should get the opportunity to get uh, the PSL loans, right? So if the per capita loan, so what RBI did, RBI categorized the banks. There is one, uh, categorized the districts, okay? So where per capita, per capita priority sector lending 
is less than six thousand rupees, right? So in these places, PSL, uh, you know, uh, priority sector loan has not been given that much. Okay, so the uh, usage is less. Less loan has been given to these uh, these particular district, and if the bank is giving loans to these districts. Uh, those loans would be considered as if let's say 10,000 rupee ka loan is given in, in this particular district that would be considered as 12,500 towards achievement of target towards achievement of target priority sector lending target okay alternatively <clears throat> in the contrast if priority sector per capita PSL is more than 25,000 so over exploited right in that case, if 10,000 rupee ka loan has been given, that would be considered as 9,000 9, only. So 90% would be considered toward achievement of target. So very important update. Uh, so please remember that. Okay. Let's move forward, I guess. Under priority sector lending, uh, the new loan limit for renewable energy projects is 30 crores. So very important 30 crores for individual borrowers, it is 10 lakh per borrower. So quite easy. So let's move forward. So the what is the applicable limit for bank loans for building social infrastructure projects like schools, drinking water, sanitation, uske liye kya limit hai? So that limit is 50 million rupees per borrower or 5 crore per borrower. Okay. So the jurisdiction of DRT, debt recovery tribunal up to 20 lakh rupees, 20 lakh, jo hai. 20 lakh is the, you know, uh, is the jurisdiction for DRT. Okay. It has been increased from 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs recently last year, he, 2022 mein hi. that is why it is important. So let's move forward. As per Surface Act, I mean, we were here. Okay. While issuing demand notice, the financial institution should ensure that in which cases Surface Act is not applicable. If the borrower has already paid 80% of the loan amount, 80% of the amount due has already been paid, to you can't do it. Surface. In case of agriculture property, just agricultural use or agriculture pro uh, property, agriculture land, which has been used for agriculture purpose only, you cannot send notice to them. For uh, aircraft or vessels, you cannot, uh, you know, send uh, notice to them. Okay. So uh, in which of the following cases, the account has been in all of these cases, right, in a uh, violation should be ensured that account has been account has been declared NPA outstanding uh, of principal and interest is 20% at least 20%. The property is not an agriculture land. It's not a security interest in aircraft or vessel, then you can send a notice under Surface Act. Okay. In case of consortium advances, what, what do you mean by consortium advances? This question was asked in the previous paper, the word consortium, what do you mean by consortium advance? This, this question was asked in previous paper, what is consortium advance? See students, when bigger companies, they take loans, uh, they take loans from multiple banks, Wo paan, che, saad banks bhi loan le sakte that is very, very common. When Ambani's they take loans, they don't take loan from ba one bank. One bank cannot afford to give them loans. So they took take loans from multiple, uh, you know, lenders. So in that case, uh, in case a particular borrower goes bankrupt, bankrupt ho jata hai, what happens in that case? So uh, whether to take action uh, under surface or not surface ke under action lena hai ke nahi lena. So if two third of the banks, two third of creditors this is in terms of value two, th two third of creditors in terms of value in terms of value loan value if they they are going to take the decision yeah basically ibc uh, uh, ibc code jo hai bankruptcy code insolvency and bankruptcy code usme maine already detail mein karwaya hua hai what uh, what is the procedure so basic समझ लीजिए credit committee बनती है there is a credit committee and two third of the credit committee says whatever they say 
द सेम एक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी टेकन इफ दे से लिक्विडेट कर दीजिए यू हैव टू लिक्विडेट एंड इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गिव अ टर्न अराउंड प्लान और वॉट एवर सो दे आर गोइंग टू टेक द डिसीजन ओके वेदर टू इनिशिएट द सरफाइसी और नॉट दे आर गोइंग टू टेक द डिसीजन सो टू थर्ड ऑफ द बैंक सो टू थर्ड ऑफ द क्रेडिटर्स दिस यूज टू बी सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट बट इट हैज़ बिन चेंजड ओके इट हैज़ बिन यू नो अपडेटेड टू सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स परसेंट सरफाइसी एक्ट इज एप्लीकेबल ऑन एग्रीकल्चर लैंड बट इफ द एग्रीकल्चर लैंड इज मेड यूज टू कमर्शियल पर्पसेज यू नो देन उस पर एप्लीकेबल हो जाएगा सर एग्रीकल्चर लैंड पर नॉट एप्लीकेबल बट इफ दैट यू नो एग्रीकल्चर लैंड इज मेड यूज टू कमर्शियल पर्पसेज देन इट इज एप्लीकेबल ठीक है इट इज एप्लीकेबल द अग्रीव्ड पार्टी अंडर सरफाइसी द बोरोवर्स कैन यू नो मेक द कंप्लेन्ट्स मे टेक देयर केस टू डी आर टी डी आर ए टी नॉट द हाई कोर्ट्स और सुप्रीम कोर्ट्स ओके विच आर द फॉलोइंग बैंक रिसेंटली इंग द बैंका इंश्योरेंस पैक्ट दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम में आ जाता है प्लीज याद रखें बैंक ऑफ इंश्योरेंस पैक्ट विद चोला मंडलम एम एस जनरल इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एंड मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस तमिलनाडु मर्चेंटाइल बैंक सो बेसिकली तमिलनाडु मर्चेंटाइल बैंक इन दोनों के इंश्योरेंस बेचेंगे सो विच आर द फॉलोइंग एंटर्ड पार्टनरशिप विद ए आई पावर्ड एंटरप्राइज एक्टिव ए आई टू प्रोवाइड शॉर्ट टर्म फाइनेंस अंडर बायनाओ पे लेटर कैटेगरी कोटक महिंद्रा बैंक ओके द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया आज ऑल लार्ज अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक to appoint chief compliance officers to which of the following urban cooperative banks <clears throat> this circular is applicable so chief compliance officer so students i have made a proper video on chief compliance officer iski ek proper video banayi hai maine youtube pe right for this particular circular and this is applicable to tier 3 and tier 4 our urban cooperative banks uh, chief compliance officer urban 3 urban 4 टीयर थ्री टीयर फोर अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स को ही अपॉइंट uh, करना पड़ेगा बाकियों को नहीं सो कैटेगराइजेशन इज आल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट मैंने डेप्थ में करा हुआ है इट इज़ पार्ट ऑफ आर बी सर्कुलर्स इन द कोर्स प्लीज चेक द कोर्स व्हाट इज़ द मिनिमम कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर सेटिंग अप एन एसेट रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन कंपनी एज पर द आर सर्कुलर दिस क्वेश्चन इज डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम एन आर सर्कुलर थ्री हंड्रेड दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज़ रिमेंबर दैट अपडेटेड है to which category an urban cooperative bank would belong to if it has deposit of 12000 crores so to which category it would be a tier 4 category categorization of urban cooperative banks is really really important so if uh, the asset size is up to uh, deposit is up to 100 crore it is tier 1 if it is 100 to 1000 crore it's tier 2 if it is 1000 to 10000 crore it would be a tier 3 If the deposits are more than ten thousand crore, it would be tier four. Regulations are lag lag hain. The regulations are different for all the tiers of bank. For example, the 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 chief uh, uh, the CCO uh, last question aata. Chief compliance officer. It is applicable to tier three, tier four urban cooperative banks. It is not applicable to tier one or tier two. So in that cases, it is important. Chalo, let's move forward to question number twenty. so the total assets of all nbfc in a group shall be consolidated to determine the threshold for their classification in middle layer so similarly there is a classification of uh, nbfcs and what rbi said if there are multiple nbfc bahut sari nbfcs hain ek group mein so for the purpose of uh, their classifications they will be consolidated okay unke assets ko consolidate kar diya jayega for the purpose of देर क्लासीफिकेशन क्या मिडल है या अपर है या बेस है सो फॉर दैट पर्पज ओके इफ द कंसॉलीडेटेड एसेट साइज ऑफ द इज डैश इट वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज इफ द कंसॉलीडेटेड एसेट साइज इज मोर देन थाउजेंड करोर इट वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज मिडल लेयर एन बी एफ सी ठीक है सो देर कैन बी अ माइक्रो फाइनेंस इंस्टीट्यूशन देर कैन बी एन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड क्रेडिट कंपनी फैक्टर डिफरेंट एन बी एफ सीज हो सकती हैं एक ही ग्रुप में सो फॉर दैट पर्पज The price at which per share of an underlying security can be bought or sold by the option holder is known as the strike price. Strike price means आज के दिन में आप market में जाके जिस rate पे खरीद सकते हो security को that is the strike price. Okay? Please watch the derivative section uh, in the course. पूरा अच्छे से explain किया हुआ है. No one other than RBI 
प्लीज टेक आउट अ नोट इफ यू हैव टेन रुपी और हंड्रेड रुपी नोट एंड रीड इट सो इट इज़ अ वॉट इज़ अ करेंसी नोट अ करेंसी नोट इज़ अ प्रोमिजरी नोट पेबल टू बेयर आई प्रोमिस द बेयर राइट इट इज़ रिटर्न द आर बी गवर्नर सिग्नेचर्स आर देयर सो इट इज़ अ प्रोमिजरी नोट यू आर करेंसी नोट्स द टेन रुपी नोट इट इज़ अ प्रोमिजरी नोट विच यू नो प्रोमिस द बेयर हु एवर होल्ड्स दैट नोट नो मैटर वॉट आप कहाँ से लेकर आए हो डजन मैटर इफ यू होल्ड दैट इट्स वैल्यू इज टेन रुपी ओके so no other than rbi or central government can may issue a promissory note even central government issues 1 rupee coins so yeah which section talks about agms uh, basics of company law i have considered right uh, agms mein 15 mahine ka gap ho sakta hai as per section 96 15 months of gap can be there between two agms okay recently sebi increased the investment limit of mutual funds in uh, the debt instruments issued to uh, by a single user to 12 person so there is an investment limit uh, in the mutual funds in debt instrument issued to a single user single user ke liye limit hai 12 percent ka theek hai which of the following company recently acquired idfc uh, asset management company idfc amc acquire kar li very important question ye star laga lijiye is question mein uh Bandhan Finance uh, Financial Holdings bought or acquired IDFC Asset Management Company. Very very important question. Okay. According to credit rating agency, India's expected uh, credit rating agency S and P Global, India's expected growth forecast for financial year twenty twenty three is seven percent. Very important, right? And which of the following company partnered with Axis Bank to facilitate opening of instant zero balance account for rural citizens it's spice money spice money okay spice money limited partnered with excess bank to facilitate opening of instant zero balance account for rural citizens so world bank upgraded india's gdp forecast for from 6.5% to 6.9% for the financial year 23 and as per the latest rbi circular what is the maximum limit on individual borrowing under foreign exchange management regulation 2022 so 1500 million ye pura quota hai not for one individual pura quota hai 1500 million ka theek hai so recently rbi allowed the small finance banks to operate as category 1 authorized dealers so small finance banks they can deal in uh foreign uh, you know uh, uh transactions which are the fo uh, following conditions that small finance banks they need to fulfill to operate as a category 1 authorized dealer are incorrect inme se kya galat hai so instead of doing this we should we should read that let me just hide myself uh, students so that you can read everything the bank should have completed sorry for that the bank should have completed at least 2 years of operation as a authorized dealer category 2 to be eligible for a uh, authorized dealer category 1 those uh, pehle aap 2 saal kar chuke ho as a uh, category 2 the bank should have been included to the second schedule of rbi that is pretty obvious should have a minimum net worth of 500 crore crar the capital uh Uh, CRAR should be 15 percent. Should not be less than 15 percent. Net NPA should not exceed 6 percent during last four quarters. It should have made profit in preceding two years. It should not have defaulted in maintenance of CRR SLR during previous two years. Okay, it should not have defaulted in maintenance of CRR SLR in, in the pre previous two years. it should have sound internal control system and it should not have any major regulatory and supervisory concerns okay so these are the requirements for the small finance banks to become an authorized dealer category 1 okay and that's all students bank of maharashtra journalist officer uh, scale 2 scale 3 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com We are providing complete coverage of the syllabus with the help of video classes, notes, test series, live quizzes, 
all the links are available in the description i recommend you all to check the description uh you can ask your doubts on my whatsapp number whenever there is any doubt in your mind please 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 ask your doubts list of our successful students in the past in 2022 all these eight students they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams for the bank of maharashtra journalist officer abhi jan i guess march mein exam hua tha i guess so they cracked their exams and they got the job i'm really really happy for them scale 2 scale 3 2020 uh, rrb scale 2 scale 3 our flagship course a lot of selections we got in various specialist officer credit officer level exams all these successful students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i am really really happy for all of them really happy for all of them and that's actually all for today students if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are here to answer your doubts that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye